gave her nitrous during the EEG. That's what made this thing rear its ugly. What head. thing? B12 deficiency. Are you having deja vu? We've had this conversation. She was given B12. She didn't get better. Because someone else ate it. Get an abdominal MRI. Yeah, keep that retracted. Forceps. Lake fishing can be fun. It can bring the generations together. If you don't cook that trout or perch well, I'd be giving room and board to this fella. By free board, I mean I'll be 12 you can take in. I could have a tapeworm in me. Not likely. You'd be in a lot of pain. It's gotta be 25 feet long. Damn it. World record's over 60. Hello everyone. Today we're gonna give you some background information about the Dipholobatrium latum worm. The first thing you need to know is that it is the largest worm that can infect people. It can grow up to 30 feet long. While most infections are asymptomatic, um, complications can include intestinal, obstructional, and gallbladder disease. It can also cause diarrhea, vomiting, weight loss, and anemia. Diagnosis is made by identification of eggs or segments of the tapeworm in a stool sample with a microscope. You can get this by um, it is acquired by eating raw or undercooked fish, usually from the northern eastern hemisphere, like Europe, North America, Asia. Um, in order for safe and effective medications are available to treat, and adequate freezing or cooking fish will kill the parasite. The adult worm is comprised of three distinct segments, the scolex, neck, and strobula. Each side of the head has a groove-like bathroom which attaches to the intestinal walls. The strobula consists of a long chain of proglottids which contain the reproductive organs of the tapeworm. Diphilobothrium latum is monoecious, consisting of both the male and female organs. The mature gravid proglottid has a unique uterus, coiled in rosette appearance with genital spores in the center of the proglottid. The gravid proglottid shows the serous sac, genital uterine pore, vitalin glands, excretory canal, ovary, uterus, and testes. Diphilobothrium latum lays up to a million eggs a day, which is shed in the feces of its host. The egg has a distinct operculum and an apopercular knob at the bottom. The eggs are undeveloped when released from the uterus and completes its development in water. Diphilobothrium tapeworm infects humans as well as a few other mammals as definitive hosts. Immature eggs are passed in the feces, which then embryonate in the water. The coracidia hatch in the water, which are then eaten by a crustacean intermediate host. Prosarcoid larvae develop in the crustacean. The crustacean is then eaten by fish and the prosorcoids develop into pleurosorcoid larvae, which is the infective stage of the tapeworm egg. When a definitive host ingests the infected fish, the adult forms in the intestine, feeding off of the host nutrients. The life cycle repeats to infect other hosts. <laughs>